Would you like a new and improved recipe for some cheesy stuffed bell peppers? Well, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Start with three bell peppers. You can use any color you like. I like to cut them in half from top to bottom instead of cutting the tops off. It makes them more like a bowl instead of a cup. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 190 degrees Celsius. Coat a 9 by 13 inch baking dish with nonstick spray. You're going to dice up one small onion or a shallot. I like shallots. They're kind of like onions, but they're French and they have an attitude. You're also going to dice up about half of another bell pepper. Use the rest in a frittata or on a salad. I'm also going to dice up one of these little spicy guys. It's optional or you could use any hot pepper you like. I'm using the squeezy garlic stuff again, but you can just use one or two sliced or minced cloves of garlic if you like. I've got some cooked rice. Leftover rice is great for this. Speaking of leftovers, I'm using some leftover tomato sauce from a big batch I made for another recipe. You could use jarred tomato sauce if you like. Just look for the shortest ingredient list possible. Shred up some mozzarella cheese. You'll need about two cups. I'll link to the full recipe down below. I'm using bulk Italian sausage. But if you can't find it like this, you can buy the links, cut them open, and remove the inside. Let's get to cooking. Get some olive oil into a saute pan and get your sausage in. Break it up, stir, and cook. You don't have to cook it completely at this point because we're going to keep cooking it after we add the vegetables. Add in your diced onion and pepper. Season it up with salt and pepper. Italian seasoning mix, and optionally some hot chili flakes. Stir and cook until the vegetables are softened about five or six minutes. Stir in your squeezy garlic or garlic cloves and cook for one more minute. Add in your cooked rice, tomato sauce, shredded mozzarella, some grated Parmesan, and a couple tablespoons of chopped parsley. Stir everything up until nicely combined and then we can stuff our peppers. This is an important step. You need to season the insides of these peppers with some salt. After that, fill up your peppers with the stuffing. Sprinkle on some more of the shredded mozzarella. Now use some skewers or some toothpicks to help keep the foil covering from sticking to the cheese. Loosely cover it up and get it into the center of your preheated oven for 30 minutes. If you're enjoying learning some new recipes for family dinner, click that like button for me. It helps YouTube recommend my videos to more people, and I appreciate you helping me grow my channel. After 30 minutes, remove the foil, turn up the broiler, and cook until you get just a little color on the cheese. It's time to eat. Ladle on some of your tomato sauce. Hit it with some more freshly grated Parmesan, and finish with some chopped parsley. Enjoy your stuffed peppers. If you'd like another crowd-pleasing family favorite, click on this video right here and I'll see you there.